संगम नगरी अलाहाबाद अ हिंदू पिलग्रिमेज विजिटेड बाय लैक्स एवरी ईयर It is also the place where 13 drains discharge 112 mld of sewage into Ganga and its tributary, the Yamuna, bringing in about 32,164 kg of polluting material. A chemical analysis by the Ganga Pollution Control Unit shows that every liter of water from the sacred river contains. 155 to 469 mg of suspended solids 56 to 156 mg of volatile solids 740 to 1145 mg of dissolved solids 14 to 100 mg of sulfates 4 to 6 mg of phosphate 208 to 480 mg of cod 136 to 340 mg of bod and 428 to 688 of calcium carbonate The pollutants have raised the incidence of waterborne and enteric diseases like gastrointestinal diseases cholera dysentery hepatitis A and typhoid among the people who use the river's water at an estimated 66% per year Water in the Ganga at the moment the pollutant level as it is is not even worth taking the achievement and all that is left of ganga is what we have and we have heard that gange tav darshanat mukti it is only worth having a view of the ganga let us respect the ganga let us come forward and do something positive it is not the only civic waste from the city that pollutes the water industrial effluents from the nani industrial area and the pulpur fertilizer factory are also discharged directly into the river The annual Magh Mela and the 6th year and 12th year Kumbh Mela brings millions of devotees to the sacred confluence. Many of them staying over a month in the temporary Kumbh city. The temporary camps produce a large quantity of human excreta, about 250 tons per day on normal days, and about 10,800 tons per day on main bathing days. which is buried into the sand only to be washed away during the monsoons the existing sewage plants at gauhat daraganj and rajapur are simply not enough to cope with the situation up to december 2012 we will generate a treatment capacity of 165 mld presently we have 89 mld capacity to treat the domestic sewage thus in all we will have a total treatment capacity of 254 mld community bathing practice of offering flowers and milk burying human remains and washing clothes degrades the quality of the water thus aggravating the problem the ganga was ranked among the five most polluted rivers of the world in 2007 with fecal coliform levels in the river more than 100 times the permitted indian government limits pollution threatens not only humans but also more than 140 species of fish 90 amphibian species and the endangered ganges water dolphin the ganga action plan an environmental initiative to clean up the river has been a major failure mainly due to corruption and lack of technical expertise lack of good environmental planning Indian traditions and beliefs and a lack of support from religious authorities those who are responsible like the pollution control board the municipal uh, committees uh, and uh, other authorities uh, uh, which are responsible in the enforcement of environmental laws they have become ineffective institutions and they they have not done their job or they are not doing things which they should be doing in november 2008 Ganga was declared a national river facilitating the formation of Ganga River Basin Authority that would have greater powers to plan implement and monitor measures aimed at protecting the river and according to 2010 planning commission estimates an investment of almost rupees 7000 crores is needed to clean up the river 
with the Kumbh Mela just an year away. The residents of Allahabad too are skeptical. Dio ka jo prakritik bahav hai, agar usko baadhit karne ka kam sarkar ne kiya hai, to jab prakritik bahav baadhit hoga, to pradushan phailega hi. Isliye sarkaron ko pradushan ki chinta karte samay sabse zaruri hai. कि वो गंगा के प्रदूषण के बारे में गंगा के अविरलता का विचार पहले करें। जो नाला वाला सब बहरा इसको रुकाना चाहिए हम जा। गोल में जितना पैसे दे दे रहा है कोई काम नहीं भी आ कर देते हैं। क्या भी कुछ नहीं काम होगा। तो रुकना पड़ेगा ना पब्लिक को। आज जो कटर पानी आता है उनको रुकना पड़ेगा। � the need to save the symbol of Indian civilization has now transcended religious barriers. In a unique conference recently, prominent Hindu and Muslim leaders gathered at the banks of Ganga to appeal for joint action to save the Holy River. Perhaps the most poignant of observations was made by Muslim personal law boards Maulana Kalbe Sadiq. He said that I would not mind if for a hundred years no temples, gurdwaras, mosques or churches were built in India, but I would be deeply pained if Ganga perishes. Maybe it's time to wake up and take notice. Sandeep Yash, Raj Sabha TV, Allahabad.